Alright YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a very very simple tutorial for the beginners out there with using Photopea. Now for the advanced viewers who watch our channel, don't worry because we got a lot more stuff coming soon. Today we're going to be doing a quick depth of field effect and uh, as you can see right here this thumbnail is made by i5k at rightless on twitter so this is not my work i don't take any credit let's get right into it right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to right click on our layer and we're gonna go duplicate layer now you're gonna go up to filter you want to go to blur and you want to go to Gaussian blur. This is the first type of blur we're going to use. So choose the amounts that you want um, to be blurred. For me, I'm going to go for around 2.5. Now, we're going to go over here to our eraser tool. I'm going to click this arrow and choose hardness, drag it all the way down, and opacity. We're going to have it around 50 and same with the flow. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zoom in and we're going to use our eraser tool and we're going to erase the blur um, areas that we do not want to be blurred so I don't want this character right here to be blurred it's going to uh, erase right here same with the gun so we could use a layer mask as well and how that works is um, if we click this icon right here with the black circle all right make sure you have this selected and um, we go to our brush tool hardness all the way down opacity is uh, 60 ish flow same thing all right, so let's click this icon to reset our colors. All right, so with the white color, if you brush, right, it will re-enable the blur. But if you paint with the black color, this will hide the blur, if you can see. Um, let me... And uh, if I use black, this will hide the blur. Does this make sense? So that's how you could use the layer mask. Um, but obviously we already had this area deleted from at first. So, so uh, let me just redo this effect. And then we just use our black color to hide the blur. All right, so that is the first type of blur. Now the second type of blur, we're gonna do a, I'm gonna show you guys. So let's make a copy again. Let's go for filter, blur, and let's go for a radio blur. All right, now we're gonna change the mode to zoom like that. And with offset, choose the uh, location of the zoom so i'm gonna pick some like this to focus on the middle give me a second all right uh this looks good to me and now from here you can use your eraser tool or like i just explained you can use layer mask so brush tool here we can hide the blur from the character also a little bit over here And then we could just lower the opacity and that right there is the second kind of blur a zoom blur and now let's do a third one so let's copy now we're gonna do a motion blur so filter blur go to motion blur and this is perfect for uh kind of a linear if you're doing like a racing scene or somebody that is running you want to do a motion blur so as you can see you just race away or use a layer mask as well so go like the plane right here the motion blur looks really nice and uh yeah that's basically it i hope this video helped you for all the new designers out there who are using photopea make sure to leave a like if this uh did help you and uh i'm gonna make sure to catch you guys in the next video peace